Hey everybody, welcome to episode 26 of the Unity Cast. It is Wednesday, July 25th. The last Wednesday of July, right? Yeah, that's right. Perfect. I got something right. Um, and today we're only, I'm only joined, Richo. Richo is, I, I am Richo, and I'm only joined by... You should probably turn your... I should probably turn my front, mic, turn my then, mic. Yeah. I gotta remember not to t- talk towards you, so I'm gonna... <laughs> so I, realize, I, can, I can see you on the screen, perfect. you can see me on the screen, it's, it's fine, it's perfect. Who, I'm Dan. I was gonna say, when you say I'm, who's I'm? I was so, preemptive. Yeah, it was good. You planned for that. Um, so yeah, we're just... Yeah, we're doing Devin it. is unfortunately not here, because he got into work stuff. Yeah. Couldn't make it. But, Late stuff. Yeah. Not 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 good for this podcast because also Dustin is celebrating his girlfriend's birthday. Like, yeah, who the who the fuck cares? Like really, it's, it's, it's just everybody gets birthdays. Watch this. Fuck cool. it. Happy birthday, by the way, Eric. I guess. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> so so what have uh, what have you done this week? I, I don't think we need to do this like weird. What have you done this? What week have you done? No, I don't even marathon. mean games. I don't marathon. even mean games. What have you done anything cool this week? No. Worth mentioning? We prepped for the marathon and then we had the marathon. And then we had the marathon. You also no well you got no you started broadcasting last week so that's not no that was a week before we already talked about this we've we done wow okay well stuff goes fast stuff does go fast um yeah so I guess the big thing that happened this weekend was that uh, I did a twenty four hour marathon um, and I helped yeah well yeah it was a community thon it was I, I played games for twenty four hours for on my live broadcast channel I gave away a shit ton of games I think the final tally was like maybe twenty eight twenty eight thirty no. It was like 28 on the live cast, and then we gave some away for people who wrote articles. I told uh, you to keep some... track of it. I did. I did until it was late, and then I was just... I couldn't even form words, so I figured it was probably not the best for me to be editing a Google Doc. A Google? <laughs> a Google Doc? <laughs> um, and, and yeah, that just kind of went to shit. I started like crossing it out and writing people's names next to it, and then after it was like, yo, I crossed it out. Oh, and I crossed the one on top of it. I guess that's the next giveaway. Good. <laughs> I saw that you also started just like highlighting entire lines and crossing out the people and the names yeah. that you've just given <laughs> just, them to. I just like, hey, it's this is makes, just scope more, makes sense. more games. Yeah. Oh, God. Um man, the funniest giveaway that we had to do was the ship. Uh when you buy that game on Steam, it gives you a copy for yourself as well as two gift copies. And then each gift copy gives you a gift copy. So it started off where I had three copies to give away, and I'm like, oh, here you go, guys, who wants to win it? And then they all got a copy, and then two people were like, hey, I want to give, I got a gift copy from it, I'm going to give it back to you, and you just keep rolling to see who else is going to win. And I did that, and then a few people who were unhappy that they won, didn't win any, so one guy just went ahead and bought some, then he got two copies, so then he passed them to me, which I then give away, and then those gave, it was ridiculous, it took like 40 minutes. To and fucking... then the game was totally broken. Well, it, we had somebody, <laughs> we had somebody host it. Uh, and we got in, but then if you kill helpless people, well, the ship is is pretty much like a Assassin's Creed Brotherhood style multiplayer, except for if you kill too many and innocent Revelations. and so Revelations, yeah. Uh, if you kill too many innocent people who aren't on your to kill list, you end up getting banned from the server. So people are just getting banned from the server, <laughs> and uh, then my game crashed. So the ship was fun, but really short lived, sadly. Um, well, now like tons of people have it, so you can. Yeah, a lot of people want to play. I do want to cast more of it because it is really fun, uh, especially some of the names you get. Which I, I have it remember. too, actually. Oh, do you have any free copies? I will not give them away. No, I already given them to people. Good. I think you actually gave me one, or something. I don't know. No, that's anyway. you had that from before. Nice. Uh, it was part of an indie bundle. Was uh, it the last indie royale bundle? Not the one that's going on right now. But the one before had the ship in it. That's where I got it. I wonder if that uh, include if that's like the the purchase copy that gives you the two extras, or is that what you're it talking? Is. It that's is. Where oh I got my, my two god! Extra so wow. No wonder the game spread like shit then, because everybody had like yo, I got it free was copies. Maybe like three or four weeks ago. Oh, well, that explains it. Man, also Steam sales is completely finished. <laughs> that sh- that should be mentioned. The, the store looks so bare right now. Yeah, it's kind of weird when I went back to just the plain kind of gray, dis- dissolving, just the gray, 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 the normal gray, gray to no, gray. No tree houses in the back. Yeah, no tree houses. Man, the entire time on the Steam uh, community page, they were always like, "Yo, stay tuned for all the activities, the activities, activities." And then suddenly that just wasn't there. <laughs> stay tuned for the sales next tomorrow. Next tomorrow. Sorry, tomorrow. <laughs> the next tomorrow. The next. That's the new adventure game that Richio is developing. The next actually. tomorrow. Wow, that's a good name. That's like the day after tomorrow, except for after the day after tomorrow. So it's the next tomorrow. Inside that game, you'll have to some have some really like contrived line too, where they end up saying the next tomorrow. People be like, "Oh, that's what the game is. That's What's why it? you named the game that." This What's every Wednesday? Oh, we have to do this Friday. That's like tomorrow, but the next tomorrow. 
And then it just... You won't live to see the next title card. tomorrow. The, yeah, the title card. <laughs> you might live until tomorrow, but the next one, you will be dead. The next tomorrow, you'll be dead if you will. Not next, next tomorrow, because you'll already be dead, dead by then. But then, maybe before the next tomorrow... Next, dead. That's a sequel. Next, Nexius. Nextius. <laughs> Nextius. They're perfect. Um, um. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of stupid stuff. Yeah, this is going to be a really weird two-man cast. I realize whenever it's just me and you bouncing things off each other. <laughs> I don't like that sounding. Uh, speaking to each other. I don't think anyone other. likes how that sounded. I don't like bouncing anything off of our bodies. Um. <laughs> Um, anyway, I think we always say some pretty ridiculous stuff. Uh, okay, so, do I want to go through the list of stuff that we kind of played during the marathon, at least the worthwhile uh, yeah, mentioning ones? Yeah, you go through it. I pretty much have been trying to finish the PC version of Max Payne 3, and I did yesterday, so that's all I've been playing, really. Any, Aside any, from things that I played with you on the yeah. marathon, so. A- anything different that you, no- mentioned, uh, that you noticed in Max Payne PC, other than your glitches? Hella but, glitches. Hella graphical glitches. Yeah. There's also, there's some weird, like, just like throwaway lines that are different than the Xbox version, which I thought was interesting, hmm. but there's only like two or three of those in the whole game. I really like that game. Did you? That's, I've never played a game that many times since Uncharted 2. And you still haven't finished any New York Minute at all, have you? I'm halfway like, I know... through on Xbox. Okay, so that's not bad. Um, what about, uh, did you play any multiplayer on PC at all? No. And you bought the Rockstar I, I Pass? I bought the Rockstar Pass on the Xbox, so I'll yeah. probably mostly stick to it on the Xbox. Unless it goes on some sort of Green Man gaming deal, and it's like, yo, $10 for all these yeah, deals. Yeah, like $10 or something it. like that, then yeah, yeah but... Go for it. Um, unless you only buy the co-op New York Minute one on PC. I'll if you can do that, because... That would... Yeah. <laughs> we still don't know what the prices will be whenever they're solo, but... Well, isn't... One of them is out on the PC right now, and it's not available for single download. Oh. So I don't know if that's telling... Oh. It is available for standalone on Xbox now, hmm. but not on PC. So, weird. I'm not sure. Well, that's a truck. That was a motorcycle, actually. That was a motorcycle. I want, I want, I want Dave Dave Mears Pro BMX. No, was it Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX? Did you ever play that? Whenever, whenever Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Two and everything, just because I think that released last week, I didn't even play it. Probably Sean White. Sean, is it, no, Sean no, White's it's not snowboarding. Sean White yeah, all, Sean. He also did Sean White skateboarding. Oh, okay. So he's clearly done Sean White BMX. Yeah. Sean White's dirt. Um, <laughs> Sean White's dirt. <laughs> Yo, he's got some dirt. This is actually a dirt trading game where you make a dirt. Dirt 3 is actually Sean White's dirt. That's what you don't know. <laughs> Yo, is this a skateboarding game where he shot colors all over the world? Yeah, and they turned into stride ads. <laughs> Why? <laughs> How gum? Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that actually makes perfect sense. If if Dirt Four is Sean White's dirt, then as he drives across the ground, like all grass, where and else would you drive? Stuff across the ground. <laughs> I'm gonna drive through the sky. Actually, you could. I was specifically referring to the ground dirt. that was full of dirt. Oh. But I didn't want to say dirt because that's the name of the game, and that would get confusing. So, good. People in the chat seem to be... Oh, also, we do broadcast this live once again um, to anybody listening to us on iTunes or YouTube's picture. I like, I like Sean White's <laughs> like custom-made heat sinks. Yeah, as well as That's Sean White. Good. I like Sean White 2033, the uh, after a po- a nuclear bomb. Sean White 2, Among Thieves. Among, Among Thieves would be pretty good, yeah. I, how about... Um, well, I blanked. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Payne. <laughs> Sean... <laughs> I'm going to shoot colors. Sean White, New Vegas. No, yeah, no, it's Sean Payne. You jump into rooms with people with smelly breath and you shoot. No, it shoot. would have to be Sean White's Max Payne. No, 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 listen to me. It's Sean Payne. And, and, and you dive into rooms and you shoot gums into people's mouths. And instead of exploding blood out the back of their heads, it just shoots rainbows and like, good taste. And he does, he does sentences like in Deadly Premonition where it's like, great taste, nice minty fresh. I don't know. Instead of the Matt Spain narration. <laughs> and then he like snowboards <laughs> <laughs> on their minty fatty There's way. a great snowboarding sequence. It's on <laughs> rails. <laughs> I think there's a video of Sean White uh, snowboarding and doing a sick like triple backflip and then landing and then kicking his helmet into the crowd 
but it hits someone straight in the face. And then he proceeds to take his goggles off and whip them also into the crowd. <laughs> Sean White the third. I like that <laughs> Sean one. White the third. Oh, wow. Considering there's been two Sean White games so far, I believe that is the next one. <laughs> or it's like SSX, just Sean Sean X. <laughs> <laughs> that's the 10th snowboarding game. That's, that's actually what SSX stands for in the next SSX reboot. Sean Sean. It's not Super Snowboard Cross anymore. It's <sighs> Sean Sean Cross. Actually, it's Super Sports Cross, I think, now. They changed it? Well, in the starting of SSX, they're, they're like, hey, dirt bikes and lots of trucks, and by the way, your guys are snowboarding this time. And that's kind of how that But they've goes. always been snowboarding. Yeah. I don't know. It is a quote-unquote reboot. Snowboarding on tour, world tour, and skateboarding. <laughs> my Little Sean. <laughs> no, it would be Sean White's My Little Pony. Or, or rather, Sean White's my little, little Pony. My Little Shawnee. <laughs> <laughs> oh god great taste is magic <laughs> our great breath is magic anyway point is stride what did we start with <laughs> what were we talking about that led us into sean white oh pro bmx which led us into why did i bring up <laughs> anyway um were we talking about what i played during the marathon <laughs> friendship is sean white the friendship is sean white sean white sparkle um anyway <laughs> pretty sure people are like yo i'm not enough of this my little pony shit i'm out of here <laughs> Sorry, listeners. Just keep listening. It's going to get better. Or it might not. <laughs> Sean White 50... Th- I don't understand that. It's the beginning of COD 4. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sean White's 50,000 people used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. <laughs> Great. Um, all right, so what, what, what did we... <laughs> this podcast is going to be ridiculous this time. <laughs> Devin, I hope if you listen to this after, you're like, why did I? I should have just went there. Regardless. Sean White Solid 4. (laughs) (laughs) Is this like a stealth action game where instead of breaking their necks, he just puts his hand in front of their mouth and slides a gum in and then just like disappears (laughs) into the darkness? He actually, when he when he rocks up against the surface, instead of camoing to it, it just turns into a stride ahead. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even understand. We've killed Dan, so this is now a one man podcast. Dan is leaning <laughs> over. <laughs> um. Anyway. Um, so, so, so also during this marathon, we played a shit ton of multiplayer games, um, whether it was Team Fortress 2, whether it was, that's all I can think of. Don't you mean Team Sean 2? <laughs> Team Chantress? The second? Where you don't get hats, you just get different flavors of bubblegum? <laughs> Your dispenser is just a gum dispenser. Put coins in. All, anyway. All the guns shoot pieces of stride gum. <laughs> Every time you yell medic, he's like, stride! <laughs> advertise everything. I don't like it. I don't like how, I'm a mu- how, m- 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 much, how much we're saying stride. <laughs> have like, Sean 2 snowboarding 3. <laughs> <laughs> That's never coming out. I can oh, say that with the utmost confidence. Um... <laughs> Sean White New Vegas. Okay, we gotta stop reading these. <laughs> They're done. They're done. It's done. We're sorry. Um, Alright, so, uh, yeah, so, what, what did I even play this weekend? There was, like, Team Fortress 2 for multiplayer. There was, um, you The Ship. Payday. The Payday. The Payday. Did you ever get to Burnout Paradise? <laughs> no, because I bought some copies for that, but still, to this day, actually, I didn't check today. That's a lie. I'm sorry. Uh, to, to Tuesday. To yesterday. Um, I still have not received a key from them. <laughs> They're just missing. So... I can't actually play Burnout online. You played single player, which is cool. But Sean White's Rogue Warrior. Amnesia the Sean Descent. I think uh, you need to talk about Rogue Warrior. Okay, yeah, we're going to get to Rogue Warrior. I just, I just want to try and see if we can name off more <laughs> multiplayer games. Payday was awesome, actually. You, well, you played some Payday. Do you want to talk about Payday? Uh, I, I played Payday with Dustin. Um, so we played two players, and I guess it was two pots. And um, that game's a little hard. 
when you just have two people. Yeah, it doesn't exactly balance for two people because it figures, hey, they have bots. We won't change it. <laughs> uh, we managed to get to the point where you're supposed to escape in that very first bank level. Mm-hmm. Um, not without, like, there was a point when you walk back out of the vault. Yeah. And we were just like. With the money? Yeah. Okay, good. And you're just like, me and Dustin were just getting, like, constantly gunned down and then stopping and picking the other one up and then the other one would get gunned down. Yeah. It was, it was just bad. But we barely made it out. And as you're running through, like, the bottom corridors yeah. to get out, there's, like, it suddenly opens into a room, which is just kind of like desks and stuff. Uh, excuse me. And uh, we just kind of walked in that room and there was about 30 cops and we just fucking just got rolled. It was not. Um, was, and that was the only map you played, right? Yeah, we just played the one because I left to go see Dark Knight afterwards. Nice. We'll talk about that in a bit, actually. Um, Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Um, in, in Payday, it's funny because the other levels have you escorting people. And by escorting, it's you yelling at a hostage. Uh, but it's you, you pointed... I saw there was that whole mechanic. I just started yelling at people and it was like you're out well, of ties or whatever. And yeah, I was you, like, I don't know what's going on. Well, you can, you can yell at them to go down, but you, can, you have to actually escort some. But you don't actually like, hey, come with me. You, you, you point at someone and you do the same thing when you hit the use key on them. And they'll yell shit like, get moving, get moving. And like, get the fuck up here. Get the fuck, keep fucking move, keep fucking moving, keep fu-. And it'll like loop the same thing. But you have to usually run these guys from one end of the level to the next. And you have to keep mashing Why F. do you have to keep them with you? Because one thing is like, yo, he knows the code to the door. You should probably get him over there. And then like, he'll just yell. But you're hitting F and it's just like, it's probably really traumatizing for a guy to just hear like, keep fucking moving. Keep fucking moving. Keep fucking moving. Like just for like a good five minutes. <laughs> I don't... It, it, it's a little extreme the cops response to four bank robbers also yeah they send out send out about maybe 300 cops well it as much More. as it's kind of extreme after you've murdered like 30 of them <laughs> i can understand true. the taser people coming in and like then you got a juggernauts 30, and 30 okd ratio on yeah. the cops of that city yeah that's actually that's a lot if you that in perspective that is a lot of dead people all of Sean, modern snowboarding thing. <laughs> the next one. Grand Sean 4, episodes of Stride City. <laughs> we tried to move away from this. <laughs> we love you, chat. Um, you've broke Dan. <laughs> it's too bad there's no, like, zombie game. Because then it could just be, like, Sean of the Dead. But there's already a movie. I'm pretty sure it's spelled the same way. Sean for dead too. Oh my god. Great. Um, anyway, we played a lot of stuff in the marathon. I don't even know what else to mention. There was a lot of stuff, but I'll just mention that as part of the games we played. Um, what did there? Were, oh, there was something. Super Meat Boy. Yeah, well, yeah. We we raced multiple games, an hour long thing, which you might actually I don't know, do more of because hour long races are kind of intense and really fun. Uh, but yeah, we did Super also Meat Boy. Very vulgar. Very vulgar. Uh. I don't know why the go-to sentence for me when I'm angry is, is, is fuck my ass. I don't, like, I don't know why that drops a lot of times, because in, in no part of me wants that okay, at all. Okay, hold on, this Sean stuff really has to stop or I'm going to lose it. Sean <laughs> Rising 2 case tried. Let's <laughs> <laughs> going to tilt that down. So let slowly tilt down the chat for Dan. No, no chat no chat for Dan. At least not for now. Um, <laughs> um, what the hell were we just talking about? I don't even fucking know. God damn it. God damn it, Sean. <laughs> Super Meat Boy races. Super Meat Boy races. Um, man, it is ridiculous. Because uh, we, were, we were like five people going at the Super Meat Boy race to see who we get as far as we could in an hour. It's kind of insane. Can you still see them somehow? No. Okay. Um, it's kind of insane, the, uh, skill levels between people in Super Meat Boy. Um, because in an hour, I was roughly near the end of the game. Some people there, were... There was kind of three levels. Yeah. There was, um, you got to chapter five. Yeah. Uh, you and one other guy. Yeah. Then there was a bunch of us that were stuck in four. Yeah. A few people stuck in three. Yeah. And, like, a couple people that had never played the game before. Stuck in two. Really terrible. Yeah. And stuck in two. Yeah. Um... I think there was one guy, I don't remember who it was, that actually got further during our hour race than he ever had before in the game. Yeah, which is kind of crazy. Um, the same thing happened, actually, when we did our other races, such as uh, Binding of Isaac and... Uh, Amnesia? Amnesia. Amnesia was funny, because some of us... Uh, there was, there was like, I think, like four or five of us, um, and uh, one guy 
out of the four or five of us had never even played the game before. And we're all like, yo, we're going to rush through it, sprint. We know how to do everything so far. And this one guy did not know anything. <laughs> and he goes in, and then we're like, oh, we passed, we passed the water part. We're going to the basement. We got the basement. Sweet, we're going down the elevator. And then this guy's like, I just got to so, the water so, part. So were you guys just like kind of trucking it through all we the were stairs? Trucking, you were shifting, just like, just like the guy's about to bust out, close the door, hide, okay, good. I know he's about to teleport away. I'm going to go grab the key. I'm going to go outside and unlock the door. He's chasing me. It doesn't matter from the sprint path. Like, just... Just going for it. Um, and just one guy's just like, there's this dude, and he's in the corner. I don't know what's going on. There's water coming up. I don't know what's going on with the water. And then, like, but so we're... live traumatization of this poor yeah. viewer. But, of course, they could only hear his voice because <laughs> I was the one streaming. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was great. That's was great. Um, yeah, I don't know. Doing races and stuff was really fun. Um, but any, how, did, like, how did that Binding of Isaac one go? Uh, like, it, what, uh, it, we, we tried to see who, who, who could get the deepest. Or beat the game, and if somebody bet beat, bet the game, somebody beat the game would be how many people could beat it fast enough? Like and who would beat it and then get effort. farther? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Um, any, so, who won that? Uh, I actually ended up winning it. Uh, I've never actually beaten Binding of Isaac before, and if you check my stats, I had died like 150 times, let's say, um, and I got lucky in the first. Like, oh, you actually beat it. I beat it. I beat. I actually race. beat mom and everything. <laughs> um, so my first item was a laser beam eye, and it was like really shitty. And the next item I got made it take up like the whole screen, insta kill everything, and then shoot really fast. <laughs> And then I got, like, poison, so it just murdered everything that it touched. Like, I'd walk into a room, and it goes through people when you fire it. So I just, just own rooms. Just, okay, good. Next, next, just firing. And it was great. There was no charge up. There was nothing. It was great. Uh, and then I beat it. <laughs> and uh, there's this choice now that they added in Wrath of Lamb where there's, like, an extra door, or you can open this chest and it ends the game. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, well, like, oh, there's a door. I guess I can just open there's the chest actually, first. There can be two doors. Yeah. Well, the, the doors lead you to another, like, extra level and more and more stuff. And then I didn't know this. And I'm like, oh, look, I'll open the chest. I'll go through the door. And just end the game. So my first time ever, and I fucking screwed myself out of <laughs> seeing more content. And I'll probably never get there ever again, which is terrible. Um, nah, you never know. That game has totally changed now with the spiders and stuff. Yeah. It's crazy. To be honest, having beat it now for the first time, it is, uh, it is like, I want to play more now. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, I don't think I've seen any game on Steam that more people have just like just randomly booted up. Yeah, than that game. Man, that game went on sale so many times during the Steam sales, and um, that game's almost a year old now. Yeah, it's kind of intense. Um, but um, but um, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it was only like a dollar something during the whole Steam sale, and it's kind of crazy. And the DLC was like seventy five cents, but for like a cheap game like that, it's insane how much, how many hours some people have actually put into that game. Like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours, and they still play more because oh, you don't have every item, and it's it's just kind of insane. Um, but um, stealth, stealth, yeah, no, don't. Anyway, <laughs> um, but um. Yeah, I don't know. Bunny of Isaac is fucking crazy. I know we've talked about it a lot because Devin plays the shit out of it. it but having... It's weird that Spelunky kind of hasn't caught on for us in that way. Uh, I think if Spelunky was somehow on Steam, like the actual new HD up-res version and everything, I think that'd be fucking insane. Uh, but I, I think it's also that Spelunky is a lot harder. It is a lot harder, and there's a lot less... Um... Like, in Binding of Isaac, you have the chance of getting an item to a lit so I guess you kind of can do the same to well, the Spelunky. There's, there's way more items in Binding of Isaac than there could possibly be in Spelunky. Yeah. You will see more different items in a single playthrough of Binding of Isaac than you will see on a completionist run of Spelunky. Yeah. It, it, it's weird because, like, in... Actually, to compare both of them, I mean, Spelunky has a lot of cool items and a lot of, like, trying to get as far as you can. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Spelunky... I really like it, but I can't for some reason. I don't. I don't know what's compelling me to not play it, because it is really fun when I do, and I hate the whole angry thing. But I do go back to it. I think it's more that you're a PC gamer. Yeah, I think it was just easy for me to just left click twice on Steam a launch of it, and that would be it. Uh, that would probably be much, much better, and I'd probably play more. But which is ultimate laziness, because literally reaching over and hitting the fucking guide button. Uh, <laughs> Reaching over and hitting the guide button to turn on my 360 and then opening up a TV, which is literally two inches from my fucking monitor screen. I think it's like ultimate laziness on my part. <laughs> I don't even have to get up. I just have to switch inputs. I still don't play it. 
Did you ever actually play much of it? So I know you're the one who convinced me to buy it somehow. <laughs> By being like, yo, it's like Binding of Isaac. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Binding of Isaac Super Meat Boy Hybrid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, you said right, co-op, and then I realized it was local only. I didn't know it was local only. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I've, I still haven't been able to get to the second area, because that game's a lot harder than Binding of Isaac. That said, I haven't never beat Binding of Isaac either. So, yeah. I mean, you could argue that my progression is the same in both games. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Because they are both roguelikes, so... What's weird is that uh, while Spelunky uh, probably doesn't get played much more by me, I kind of wish Binding of Isaac had some sort of possible, like, leaderboard, because... Well, it's the number of items you've collected. It's yeah, but there's, there's... leaderboard. Yeah, but there's no way to actually check that with people. Um, it's called screenshots. Yeah, I guess so, but I mean, like, with Binding... With, sorry, with Spelunky, you can kind of check, like, oh, I got the deepest... That sounds bad. Uh, I got the most money and all that stuff, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Either way... I know Splunky's on PC as a non like HD up the up version, but I think if the 360 version, which I, apparently the guy wants to bring to PC, that PC, there's just like an exclusive thing going on right now. Microsoft gets a lot of that like exclusive so. for a month. Yeah. Things. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, other. I can see just the most recent chats under your chin. <laughs> under my chin. Sean's ascend. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Let's do a chair squeeze. Um. Anyway. Um. But yeah. Anyways, I, I won't say everything that we played during that thing, but like the noteworthy ones of stuff that I played during the Steam sales, which is pretty much which I will say was that marathon of like me buying Steam sale stuff and playing them. Um. Yeah. Tiny and big. Uh. Gra you, grandpa's. That, you. Something. Grandpa's adventure or something. Uh, yeah. You leftovers. tried to convince me. Yeah. to buy that game while it was on a flash sale. And yeah. I was like, uh, probably not interested in it. Then the day later is the marathon. Yeah. You play that game on cast. And it's like the coolest thing ever. No, and I'm like, okay, yeah, this looks pretty cool, but I don't know when I'd ever play it. And then my girlfriend sits down and starts watching the cast with me. And she's like, this game is the coolest thing ever. Can we buy this game? I'm like, oh, God. My cast is fun for Damn my it, family. Damn it, because it never went on flash sale again after Yeah. That. Then again, it was still like 8 bucks instead of like five ninety nine, which I think I bought it for. But... It was it's like dollar discount because it had just come out or something. Yeah, it was it was good. It's, it's it's what it is. It's a three D platformer where you can cut anything, which then when you cut, you can grapple anything or throw a rock on it to pro propel it forward. And I love the noise that the cutter makes. I don't even remember what it's what the Oh yeah, and uh, I don't know that uh, the game is cool. It looks really awesome. It has this like cartoony kind of comic book box typing talking stuff. It's I don't know. It's it's hard to explain, but... Comic book-esque? Comic book-esque. Yeah, sure. Um, but it's just cool knowing you can cut almost anything in the environment. I say almost because there are structures that you can't. Like a castle, and then you have to do puzzles within it, so it won't let you cut the castle. Unless you can <laughs> if you drag completely over the... I, I don't know. Either way. Makes you want to play that game again. Yeah, it kind of makes you want to play more of it. I, I heard it's really short, though, but it is really fun, and it feels really good. Well, so. any puzzle game is short yeah. if you're yeah. figuring out if you're the puzzles cruising fast. In. Portal's yeah. like an hour. If you know how to do everything. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Especially if you, like, push yourself through walls and shit, like some people have done. Uh, yeah. Have but, you seen uh, that, like, two-minute yeah, playthrough? Where the guy, like, jumps through a wall, falls down, falls onto, like, the loading thing, goes, keeps it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that shit's pretty cool. Um, but, uh, so that was really noteworthy, I think. Um, something else that I bought, which I really want to mention, uh, Crater. Uh, yeah, I got that, too. I... At your behest. Yeah, I was like, dude, you should really get that game. Um, um, that game looks kind of like Diablo, but I, I think I prefer the post-apocalyptic setting more than the f classic fantasy type thing. Yeah. It, um, I also really want to mention how good the controls are. Because rather than Diablo, where it's just like click, 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 you control an entire... Um, group of like three people. Well, yeah, it's, yeah, it's well, and, and group you can of. like hire more people for that team, yeah. but you control them like you would in StarCraft. Yeah, where so you, you drag select and... Uh, and you have like, attack move yep. and like individual... There's hot keys and, too. And, yeah, that's, yeah, that's perfect. Which is great. Um, it, it, to, to describe it as to what game it kind of reminds me of is Dungeon Siege, the first one, which... Um, I have that actually. Yeah, it's, it's a... I passed 330 games on Steam. Really? I don't know sale. what the hell I'm I had less now. than 300 I when I started. I don't even want to know. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's really good. The style of the graphics kind of looks like a Borderlands without the, like, hardcore cell shading. It's, like, 
block not blocks of colors but like very colorful without being like not realistic like it's not realistic not that it's not realistic i don't know it's just like a cartoon yeah it's good it's a really good cartoony look uh and the whole thing is that a bomb goes off in sweden so the whole thing is based in sweden so everything's got like fucking umlauts on top of their umlauts umlauts the, the, the umlauts the umlauts on top of like every letter um which is <laughs> i don't know this there's a lot of cool stuff. There's really good. Um, well, the, the way they explain the setting, as far as I've understood, and I've only played the tutorial so far, yeah. um, is that a bomb went off and created this giant crater, which kind of like, yeah, messed up the rest of the world. Apparently, yeah. But not inside the crater for yeah. some reason, or something which like maybe that. Maybe that's part of the plot of the game. I don't know, but yeah, it's. But, but yeah, the, the which. One thing that I like about the game it is it doesn't make sense to me, but I mean, I've only yeah, the story I honestly yeah, I don't I don't really know the story so so, so far either. I think the story is like fifteen hours long, um, but no, I want to say about the writing. For some reason, the writing is like really funny, but in a way that's still like it's weird because for once I actually feel like reading most of the stuff that um, that's written. If that makes any sense compared to when you're playing, yeah, where it's like space bars, yeah, like click click click, accept accept accept. Yeah, let's just go kill these things. I'm, I'm like, Richio, I want to. Yeah. Don't, Stop! Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Diablo. It's like, oh right, you're trying to listen to the story. Um, but no, and this one's funny because when I skipped it, I'm like, oh, oh no, what, oh, I bet it was funny. But uh, yeah, there was some decently funny stuff. Yeah, the, the weird thing is, I think the whole thing starts and it's like, you don't know where you are, yeah, like how you got here, and um, you're like, go get your buddies out here, and you guys are yeah. hooligans. And there's there's four different classes. I think one's like a kind of tank, one's like a dual. Well, well there's dagger. you start with a healer, a tank. Is it called a slayer? Uh, no, like a slayer is the, the two sorted people. Um, there, the, there's Medicus, which is the healer. There's uh, and also shoots ranged. Yeah. Then there's the ranger, um, and then there's the uh, he's, I don't know. It's it's the tank, tank guy. Something. Yeah, yeah, tank something. And the other one's um, that you said uh, Slayer. Slayer. Yeah, and he has two swords, uh, which is like your DPS guy or your melee DPS. Um, you can only have three at once, so you kind of have to choose on who you can who you want to be. I think the max level for each character is 15, but you can constantly switch out characters. Like, there's all these people you can hire. Um, but what's really neat is you get implants, which kind of influence kind of like runes in Diablo. So essentially, you could have your ranger guy, which puts down an AoE slow trap, and then put, like, healing items onto that. So then you have, like, a well, healing slow trap. Each, or like a, each guy only has two skills. Yeah, two skills. Points, so you've got the six yeah. skills up at the top. Yeah, and one, really two. Like and you can actually move those around if you don't want them to just be, like, one, two is the first guy, two, three, and oh, I like three, that, four. Though. Um, so there's that. Plus there's items. There's you healers can... in the middle, so that's kind of where my fingers are going to sit. Anyways, yeah. So. Plus there's an item you can give to each person, so you can have seven, eight, and nine, which you have like grenades or I'll trip mines or something. I don't know. I only have grenades so far. Um, but it's cool. I don't know. I think the max level is 15, which is kind of weird, but not so bad because you can kind of customize people in different ways and put implants and all this crazy shit. Uh, there's crafting as well uh, for items and all this stuff that you get blueprints. Um, there is no multiplayer or co-op right now. But apparently in August they're going to open that up, and what it'll it'll open up in what it'll what it will open up as is going to be co-op dungeons that you can kind of play with your friends apparently, um, and then as it goes on it'll slowly be like the That's whole great. game I that mean, you can go through. So I've out of every game I bought on the Steam sale, aside from Max Payne on PC again. Yeah. Um, that's the one I've, I feel like I want to play the most. Yeah, it's. I keep going back to it. It's one thing that's like I, I don't want all play. these like AAA games. And yeah, stuff. it's like no, I kind of want to play Crater. That's right. You even bought like Darkness Two and such. And yeah, tons of stuff. Yeah, there's there's some good stuff that went on sale. I read it out last week. Yeah, remember? Yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Crater's good. I don't know. It's even right now that the sale has ended. I think it's only a fifteen dollar game. I want to say. Yeah, that's its regular price. So fifteen dollars is like insane. If if the game's fifteen hours long and it's really good, and you'll probably play it more you than didn't once. Didn't buy any gift copies of that, did you? No, no, sadly. Um, but um, actually, it's fifteen hours long. I think if you just do the main quest, but you can keep playing after. And there's gonna be multiplayer later down the line. And anyway, it's cool. Crater is like my so far best thing I've bought during the. Well, actually, Tiny and Big and Crater, which are two like indie games. <laughs> Um, actually, Probably cost you about twenty bucks total. Yeah, I, no, because Crater was like three bucks one of the days, wasn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was a regular half off, and then on the deal day it went to seventy five. Yeah, you're right. Um, so yeah, that was pretty sweet. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else noteworthy that I bought because there was no real AAA things that I bought other than maybe Burnout Paradise, but that's an old school one. Um, I bought Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, but that's also kind of old school Man, one. Man, that game when you drive it makes you feel, makes you feel like James Bond. Oh my god! Yeah, it's no, so I played. Great. I put it on the PS3 a bit, and oh god, the game. I think I finished about 
half of it, cops and oh users. really? I think I only on went the on the Xbox, but I just lent it to someone, and then it was went on Steam sale. I'm like, Let's buy this again just in case. <laughs> yeah, I think I've only played as the cops. I want to say really. I think some of the best stuff is some of like nighttime driver missions. Oh man, it's crazy. So I'll definitely play that again. Actually, I want to know what it looks like on PC. That was one of my reasons for buying it. Apparently, it's like locked at like at least sixty frames oh, and like good. tasty. Because it's Criterion. Yeah, of course. Um, but uh, I don't know. What else did I play? Uh, Vessel is also something else I picked up. Uh, it was a, It's a puzzle game that's really kind of fluid stuff, dynamics. Did you say you bought that and were like, expecting something totally different? Yeah, uh, okay. So I explained the last podcast then, right? I think. Did you? I think so. Yeah, you, Just I, in case. I know you explained it yeah, to me. It's a, it's a two, lunch, yeah, it's a, two, it's a 2D puzzler where... Yeah, I bought that thinking it was a game where you controlled water only. Like you were water or you were fluids. But in this one, it's like you're a dude and there's fluids that you must mix and push and pull and suck and blow. And that didn't sound good. I don't want to suck and blow any fluids. Um... <laughs> <clears throat> I don't think you're actually supposed to do it while I'm saying it. Not you, you've, now. It's just now you're just mean. <laughs> okay, now you're just mean. <laughs> um, but um, no, that's also a really good one. I, it's weird because I think the best stuff I bought that I really enjoyed was most of the indie games, um, which is kind of crazy. Um, other than that, oh my god, I played some uh, G mod during the marathon. That was right at the beginning, wasn't it? Yeah, that was right at the beginning. It was fun. I uh, made like a couch that had rockets, and then some dude made like a hover bike thing, and then I went into the skybox and was just a huge dude and staring down at everybody creating things. It was great. G mod is always fun to go back and have fun in. Um, actually, before the marathon, I played some scary maps in it, uh, which were Ghost Hunt and uh, an SCP based one. Uh, people can make some pretty cool stuff with triggers and stuff. How do you stuff. play maps in that? Uh, so what you it just is, go in and then you like you, you throw make them into like yourself, the, not use the creation. No, tools, well, or? I wish you could, um, but you just kind of throw the map into the add-ons folder and you load it up in Gary's mod, so it has all the triggers and such. But uh, no, you you can't take away your tools. You can take away your guns, uh, but you can't take away like the physics prop gun and everything. So, so you, there's a certain amount of cooperation. Yeah, playing those. yeah. Um, but we, like, for example, we went up to the door and it was locked and I forgot and I left clicked and I just ripped the door off the wall. I was like, oh, well, <laughs> I guess <laughs> we're going in there. Uh, and we had to spawn each other in some crowbars to be able to break stuff because we couldn't find items. It's, it's kind of broken, but it's also really neat what some people have created. Um, there's a lot of good jump scares and all these cool kind of nifty environments. Do you play Elevator Source like I asked? No, I haven't played Elevator Source yet. I need to get to that at Did some you point. you play Elevator Source? I need to get to that at some so point. Just multiplayer. Everyone in the cast. Okay. Right. Yeah. I'll have to talk to, um, I think it was Merrick64 in the chat who was hosting servers for us. We'll try to get him to host an elevator source and do that, because that would be fun. But, um, man, okay, yeah, so what else did I play? Um, or what else is noteworthy? Uh, I have to mention, okay, yeah, we played some Blacklight Retribution. You guys uh, keep going back to that game. Yeah, I keep going back to it. That and Tribes are actually really fun to go back to. I'm kind of glad that I, oh, I didn't drop any money in Blacklight, actually, but, um, yeah. Um, you can get that stuff for free on Raptor. Yeah, which I did. Which, by the way, when I logged in, there was like 20 items that I got, and then they proceeded to uh, all become unavailable because I hadn't played long enough. <laughs> oh. Because everything's on a timer, apparently, or something. I don't know. Oh. Um, maybe it's maybe those weren't the things that ran out, but stuff ran out. Um, but no, Blackheart Retribution, what we did is we started a private server, and we got five on five going on. And when you're playing with good. people who all kind of know each other, and they're like typing and yelling at each other, and there's this like friendly camaraderie going on... It's a really fun game. Well, I think that's true of any game, but yeah. the fact that Blacklight is free to play yeah. makes it Yeah, so I was like, you guys want it? Let's go down on it. Let's yeah. go. It was good. Um, did I mention we played the ship? Yeah, we did. Yep. Okay, good. That was good. It crashed on me. Really fun, though. Um, but anyways, I was going to beat it. Played some DJ Hero 2 again. That game has some really <laughs> good songs, and I'm getting better at it now that there's all those extra things like hold down a button or like freestyle scratches and... Yeah, hold down button one is actually the most fucked up one. Because you hold it down, sometimes you have to scratch with another finger, and it's some crazy multitasking It's going good on. that they added more stuff to that rather than just yeah. leaving it the same. Yeah. Um, I stopped playing SimCity Social, kind of. Um, Did you? I keep going back to it when I'm like, oh, right, that game. That game. But uh, I, don't, I don't, not that I don't feel compelled to, but I don't remember about it anymore, which I think is maybe a good thing. But every time I go back, I'm like, oh, yeah, no, yeah start it's just this like and Hero this Academy. And... Yeah. Anything that's social, <laughs> I totally don't play for too long. Jerk. <sighs> that's fine, because I know you'll come back for the TF2 update. Oh, uh, yes. Which will be fun. When does that do out again? August something? August 8th. 8th. I'm going to never remember that. <laughs> it's going to be good when it does come out. Um, uh, so, yeah, so I also played some... Oh, yeah, I bought Stacking, which, once again... 
Does that cons- that's not really an indie game because it's by Double Fine, but um, I think it was one of their more yeah, it was one of indie published yeah ones because I like think all their indie. stuff is technically indie except for Trenched because did you know they're working on Double Fine the Happy Action Theater two? Yes, that is so fucking great. <laughs> I'm so excited for that. Oh I, my god! I wonder if they should just make it an add on to the original and just add a ton more games, or if uh, I don't know, they should make a totally new one. I don't know what else they can come up with because you kind of look at the first one and you're like, this is kind of crazy. But then, like, what other video fucking weird things can you do? Whatever. It's probably going to be $10 again. Yeah, good. I, we, you, we can do another dry run of it. You got my money. Double fine and your greatness. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, I, I bought Stacking. I started playing some of that. That's been out since, like, what? Like, last year or something? Yeah, it was all in Double Fine stuff from yeah. last year with Trenched and. Yeah. Uh, Costume Quest. Oh, Costume Quest, right. I actually bought that last day of the sale. It was one of the last Flash deals yeah. before they put the like Skyrim and Saints yeah. Row and everything up for the last yeah. whole day. Yeah. Um, That's I, three bucks. I didn't buy that on PC. I do have Costume Quest on the 360, which I still have never finished. I never played the DLC for it either. Um, PC version comes with the DLC. Really? That a fucking I should have got it. Should have got it. Yeah, so I just bought the whole game with yeah. the DLC for the price of the DLC. So nice. Yeah, even stacking came with the DLC, which I'm kind of nice. It was happy. DLC for stacking. Yeah, it was like the Lost Hobos quest or Hobos Lost something. Is st- what is stacking? Is it a puzzle game or is it stacking? Uh, is yes, it's kind of a puzzle game. It's an, like an adventure when you play one of those. What do they call the Russian dolls? That yes, 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 yes. Anyway, so what you do is you go into That's people. Actually, a decent representation of the Sam. Thank you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, Aww. so you pop open or pop into people, and then you pop out of them, because they're like the Russian dolls. Yes. Um, and when you pop into someone, you get their kind of abilities, whether it's like yell or like if you're a train dude, you kind of like scream, make train sounds, and dash, or you can fart or burp, or be seductive as a woman, or have a key if you're a key guy. Like, there's all but these is things. It solving puzzles, or what is it? It's it's the puzzles that you're solving are how to deal with certain events. Like you'll walk up something, it's like you guys better not cause a ruckus, and it's like find three ways to cause a ruckus, and you're like, okay, well I can so become a boxer like a and punch people in the face. Yeah, things? so it's like little challenges, and it's nothing kind of but that. But they're very clever and really awesome. Uh, like one of them was like, hey, you should probably get these people out of a party. I think I'd classify that as a puzzle game. Yeah, it's it's kind of a puzzle game. Um, that's like get these people out of a party, so you can become like a, a workman and like open up a door, uh, open up a vent, and then crawl in there. And they're like, "You're not invited. This party sucks," and they all leave. Or you can uh, juke the guard, kind of, and become him because you can only stack into people from behind. So you gotta like pull them away, like seduce them as a woman. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I know it sounds really weird. You can only pop into dudes as bu- from behind. But anyway, um, so you go into him, and then you open the door. <laughs> And they're like, well, there's no gods here, then we better leave. This isn't, like, good. Or you can become a guy and just fart into the vent, and they're like, oh, what the fuck? And they leave. So what you're saying is it is a cute, uh, a cute puzzle yeah. game disguising a vicious assassination. <laughs> yes. Sexual abuse game. Yes. Okay. Precisely. Got it. Um, and the cutscenes for that game are, like, an uh, not an opera, um, like, a, a stage thing, where they walk on stage, and then, like, the shutter, the, the shutter, the, the, the sheets? The curtains. Thank you, the curtains. There you go. I, I, you, you're really proud of me there. I like it. Um, the curtains will kind of close and open up, and then, like, props will come out, and they're talking, and it's great. It's really great. I like it. It's The style is really good. Which, yeah. We, we tried to play... Also, I got Insanely sh- twist, Shift is Listed. Twisted Shadow Planet. It's insanely Isted. Insane. Pato. Shannon. Shannon. <laughs> You were going to say Sean it, weren't you? I was very tempted, but then I would make myself laugh. You did. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't fall over, so yeah. it's probably fine. Um, so did you actually play any of that, Dan? I know you tried uh, to I play I started with me. the single player after okay. we couldn't get the multiplayer running. So. Yeah. Um, um, games? It, it's, it's interesting. I, I think I've been kind of... I've had that game on Xbox for forever since yeah. it went on like a daily deal or yeah. something. Then Which I almost bought. Like Wait, year. I don't know if I actually bought that. Now that you mentioned that there was a daily deal, I think I actually picked it up because of that and then ne- also never played it. Yeah. That's... Fuck. Yeah. Anyway. You, you gotta be in a certain mood to play a Metroidvania game. Yeah, it, it it's really... it's. I was in that mood right when Shadow Complex came out and yeah. not really since. Yeah. So that's why I kind of started this and I was like, yeah, this is this will be kind of cool, but I never... I don't think I like that you can just fly around anywhere. Um, I, I would prefer of... that it were... Classic like, Metroidvania. Where you can't, like, like the, where the sky is kind of like you can only You're get like, there later. I gotta figure out a way to get up there. Yeah. Like, up is always kind of a, just a, just a 
background goal yeah. in those games. I, I guess in this one, the only thing they have is like, well, you probably need missiles. Well, you probably need this laser beam. Well, you probably need this grappling hook. And it's like, okay, well. It's probably closer to Metroid there's always than a door. Castlevania yeah. because it's... Yeah, you Castlevania, really you anything, got... But it's like you have a scanner and you're yeah. like, okay, this colored yeah. thing dies to this colored weapon. You know, you need yeah. the ice beam to shoot this door. And they're scanning. Yeah. Just like Metroid. Well, at least the newer Metroids. Um... But uh, yeah, no. That Where game... Shadow Complex, I feel, was more the classic Metroidvania because there's like different weapons that you could pick up and equip, which was kind of the Castlevania yeah. side. But then you were still running around and like, oh, I got this speed boost, and this is exactly like in Metroid. Granted, I, I think what Shadow Complex, Complex, not Shadow Complex, insanely twisted Shadow Planet, Sean Complex, Sean Complex, no, whatever, <laughs> <laughs> insanely twisted Shadow Planet, Planet, Planet does. Uh, it does have multiplayer modes. Insanely twisted Sean Planet. Shh. No speaking from you anymore. Um, what it what it does is uh, no shining from you anymore. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, what it does is an online co-op where you can kind of you you have four lanterns and you're supposed to make your way as far as you can, uh, at least keeping one lantern alive until there's no more. So it's kind of like this co-op, like dig through things. Shoot there was them. another thing in there called Shadow Hunters. I don't know what that is. I think it's a. I never heard of that before. Yeah, I, I know. Heard of the Lantern Run? Yeah. And it's like that was the mode. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. I, my brother plays that game pretty frequently. Okay. He really likes it. He's uh, he's one item away from hundred percenting that game, but oh, he wow. can't find that last item. Oh my so god. He's kind of fed up with it, but. He um, might know what Shadow Hunters is because he's played that a lot. So. Yeah, we should probably check that at some point whenever a multiplayer <laughs> works. Because we, we we try, yeah, or we could Google it. Um, but we tried I'm to play. Disappointing that it just like didn't work for whatever reason. Whether it was because I was streaming and the internet was just not happy with me that day, or some sort of um, I, I port forward my ports to 360 and Windows against Windows Live games on PC use the same ports, so I think that was the issue. I port forward my Xbox as well. So that was probably just not having it. It's like we could just play it on Xbox since we both have it. I I don't know if I have it on Xbox. <laughs> I will not buy it on Xbox though if I do because anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, no, that game's pretty cool. I don't know, it's neat ish. Once again, another like five dollar game that I'm kind of glad I bought. So why does it say you played it twice? Uh, I think one's a PC and one says arcade. So because it loads up on the 360, it loads me into Xbox Live. Yeah, so you've Raptor. got the arcade one and the Steam, and the Steam one. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, also bought another, and wow, I bought a lot of indie games. I bought Waveform, which you is... You seem to enjoy them the most. Yeah, at least at least because I guess I've already played a lot of the, the actual big releases, so it's kind of neat to go back and see the kind of... Also, there's nothing in big releases right now. That is true. Actually, just, just Prototype 2 Yeah, Prototype PC 2 came out for PC, and which I don't know where that money's yep. going. What? I don't know where that money's going. To Activision. Just straight to Activision, I guess. Yeah. Great. Um, uh, fucking Sean jokes. It's still in the chat. Sean lines. Dan Sean Rising so- too. I did it first, Sarge. Um. Anyways. <laughs> Rainbow <laughs> Sean's. It's like Rainbow Vegas. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow, Rainbow Six. Sean's Patriots. Rainbow Sean's pay pay, pay Sean shirts. Anyway. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I played some waveform. That's pretty cool. You're a ball that goes up and down. You, you modify the amplitude and the longitude. Yeah, landitude. If, if you aced trigonometry, Le- lengthitude. You just good you, for that. you go up and down and there's music and it's combo. And what it's is great. that thing called again? The the L- in lamp- math. Oh, the s- k- s- k- the the curve thing. The curve. Um, the... Oh, man. High school know. was a long time ago. Anyways, yeah. waveform. The wub-a-dub. It's called the wub-wub? That. The wub-a-dub. That's a good way I to... I believe the scientific term is wub-wub. Wub-wub. The wub-wub. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't think there's anything noteworthy that I've actually played. Um, you played a lot. I played a lot, but a lot of it was just kind of like, okay, let's go. Yeah, okay, your let's Minecraft go. server. Okay, oh, yeah, the Minecraft server. Uh, which I think there's uh, Steve O'Power made. Actually, we made people create uh, articles over the that weekend thing. Uh, one of them is an article about a Minecraft contest that we held, and it's got a lot of pictures of some pretty cool creations. Um, what you will not see in that, though, is a certain creation uh, made by someone or a group of people, which will not be named. But let's just say TT5, um, and they made a very giant, girthy genital area of a man. 
Which did not win any contest. Way to beat around the bush there. Uh, there was no bush. <laughs> Actually, I don't remember. I didn't want to look at it. Um, anyways, yeah, Steve-O took some good screenshots. Yeah. And Avoided that. Well done, admi- omitted yeah. that from yeah. you did good. The screenshots. So, um, good job. That post is up on the site right now. It's the most recent one right now. Yeah. Although, actually, the, by the that's time not you true. By the time you hear this, it's at least like the most recent. Yeah. Um, but there's some neat stuff. There was like uh, Chibi Pandas. There was a uh, Unity Gaming Tower that was made. There was like a cool jungle there was a thing. a logo that was started on the floor a that logo. you didn't catch on to. Until yeah. The channel I was really you. blind on that. Um, there was a huge thing of a, a Link that was made that looks really sick. Like Link from Zelda. Um, not like a chain. <laughs> and uh, yes, Gomez from yes. Fez making out with himself, which is one of my personal favorites. And that was at your request. At my you. request, actually. I was like, if somebody makes that, you guys are you're awesome. And then G-Bobs went ahead and made it. And tongue then itself. he won. <laughs> and he did win for me. That was that third prize of the like... Third and second were like, yeah. Third and second were like the same prize. Um, but yeah. That was that was good. It was a good weekend. It was a good twenty four hours. Um, like I mentioned to you, um, <clears throat> doing a twenty four hour marathon is something that's really hard to do because it's not so much staying awake for twenty four hours, especially because I did it solo. Um, it's weird to talk nonstop for twenty four hours and try and be entertaining. Uh, but I'd like to say I did a good job. Um, just to mention that, or to because not just to mention because I tend to be super hyper. Uh, and then whenever I get tired, I tend to get retarded in a type of way that is just like things just skip my brain and go straight to my mouth in a way that I either say dumb things or five words will get mashed into one or I'll just be like, no, you go. Also, you have way less control over your facial expressions. Yeah. In the morning, Everything you melts. were just kind of like you were happy and you were good to Bouncing go. And when I got home from Dark Knight Rises at like two o'clock, you were just like you were like, OK, I'm going to fucking do this giveaway. Well, there was no anger. Angry. It was well, it wasn't really anger. It was like, hey, let's do, let's do this. Let's it was the one that's just like your face was just not melted doing and yeah. down, and I always looked like I was just not having a good time. But I was happy. I was good. I was enjoying myself. Uh, a lot of people had fun. I hope. Um, I heard some good comments from a lot of people. A lot of people. A lot of people won stuff. They were really happy about that. Um, but um, God, I want to mention something. Oh yeah, when I did, I want to be the guy race. Uh, somebody, I think Scarlett Osborne got some really good, uh, from the chat, she got some really good, uh, screen caps, which I could probably post somewhere, though a lot of them just, say some pretty terrible things. Just make a post thing. on the blog. We, ha- but, we actually got four posts on the blog people put up. Yeah, okay. Uh, one of them was, like, a quick review thing, uh, one of them was, uh, from Sweet 2. Yeah. He was a regular poster right now, he talked about yeah. Borderlands too. Yeah. Um, another one from was from Dekizio. Dekizio. wrote a custom map review. Yeah. And then the last one was from Steve-O, like you said. And yeah. And screenshots. And screenshots of Minecraft there, servers, so. spoke with some stuff. I think you, you have to make a, a post-mortem. I, I, post I, I, yeah, about, that, that actually sounds pretty good. post-mortem. Oh, God, I should post a post-mortem. Yeah. Post a post-mortem post. Yeah, that'd be good. Post, post-marathon. Post-mortem, post, post. Um, yeah, I might do that uh, because... Um, <laughs> but uh yeah no there's some good good screen caps apparently my face does some really awkward positions when i'm angry um and i touch my face in ways that make me look like i'm very enjoying myself apparently <laughs> very enjoying it that that's not a good sentence is it very enjoying <laughs> there's a lot of enjoyment going on um yeah it's, i don't know that was a good marathon but Next time, I'm going to prepare myself with way more sleep. Because <laughs> leading up to it was like five hours. Five hours. Then I had five hours. I remember you also planned to... Get sleep. And... Never happen. Nope. <laughs> just because the way I am, it's like, yeah, I got to get some sleep. It'll be good. Why don't I just watch these YouTube videos? Hey, look, it's three in the morning. Perfect. Four or five hours of sleep. Good. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm impressed you actually made it to... Yeah. I made it. I made it. I made it to eight in the morning. From eight in the morning till eight in the morning, I stayed awake. I was blacking out a bit at the end. Um, I was playing some uh, Space Channel 5. When you say blacking out, I imagine just like in the middle of the game and then suddenly just like... Just done, falling over? Just, just falling over, just passed out on the keyboard. Oh, you're like... Like the the, the, the yeah. seven sound and you have too many buttons being pushed. Um, but no, it's funny because I was playing Space Channel 5 and I look back at the cast and I'm bobbing to the music. I'm like, yes. And then like it would just be... Suddenly, like, my blinks are getting slower and slower, and then my eyes would just go closed, and it's failed. And then I just wake up, like, 30 seconds later, like, start bobbing again, restart the song, <laughs> just keep going. Um, it was kind of funny to see my eyes slowly blink and then just, like, not unblink for a bit. <laughs> but, yeah. It was good. 
Um, probably going to do another one. Uh, I don't know when. There probably won't be any giveaways next time, <laughs> at least because I realized that I spent way too much money. Um, I don't really want to say a number, but it was upwards of a lot. <laughs> <laughs> And you did already give away most of it. I did already so. give away most of it. Um, so I'll probably just do the other one for fun. And I don't want to say like a time frame because I probably don't know. But maybe in like August because I know I have an extra day off in there. And then once I'm going back to school, I'll have some time. Fucking Quebec motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, and then um, once once it's like my birthday time-ish slash the anniversary time for the channel. Then like bither more, time? My bither. Um, so yeah, there'll, there'll be a lot of... It's I, an inside joke. I don't think anyone yeah, get. No. <laughs> Devin, if you're listening, you'll get that. Um, but um, <laughs> no, I want to do more marathons like that because they're really fun. I won't do 24 hours though in the, in the next time. It'll just be for, for sure all day because it's really cool um, kind of hearing people because I, 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 I get to Skype with a few people. I get to hear them in games. I get to play with them and that sounds bad. Um, but no, it's just you kind of get to, instead of them having to watch me all the time, uh, you kind of get a little bit more interaction with everybody and it's kind of really awesome. So I want to do that more. Cause it's fun, very fun. Plus, you get screen caps on my face. That's not a good thing. You like looking at your own face. I like looking at my own face, especially when it's in weird positions with really they, cool they captions. They have a special thing for that now, actually. It's called a mirror. I want to say Shawnier <laughs> or something. I don't even know. Shawner. Shawner. Um, yeah, I guess I guess that's it for games that we've done or things that's happened this week. Uh, yeah, it was kind of like nothing happened this week because yeah. we were planning for the marathon the whole time. Yeah, July has been, plus July, there's been no good releases, I think. What, like... What is, nope. Has there been You're anything? Right. Orcs must die next week. That's D- it. Good. Next Monday is going to be sweet for that. Um, Actually, do you want to go into releases and then... Yeah, that's a perfect segue. Orcs must die next week. Perfect. Earth, or, releases. Or, or, orcs. Done. Orcs. Done. Um, yeah. Reketeer as well. Oh, yeah, that came out today. For th- oh, for today. That's right. That's today. Yeah. I'm looking at the wrong week. Uh, Rekateer, something called Malicious. Um, Network, yeah. I think some more episodes for Operation Raccoon City came out. I think that's actually just the PSN release, is it not? Oh, maybe. Actually, that can make sense. No, that's... I don't know. Uh, and version the, apparently, this site actually puts the... Yeah. The exact... Oh, I'll buy it on... on PlayStation Network. I yeah. get it. Uh, Inversion also is out for PC, which is not a good game, apparently, but I kind of want to play it. Uh, <laughs> and then we have next week... <laughs> Uh, Sean Siders too. Wait, no, Reketeer is next week. No, 25th, today. This is really confusing. Um, next week we have... Uh, yeah, next week we have... Uh, what the... Orcs Must Die 2, Deadlight, and uh, some other random crap. Deadlight's the third game in Summer yeah. Arcade, right? That's, I think that's another Metroidvania... Yeah, I'm thing. kind of really so excited kind of, for yeah, Deadlight. I'm, yeah, I'll be back in. Yeah. Because it's a walking one, it's not a fly one. Yeah. I can't explain why that killed me for me with Sean Planet. I don't. I, I don't. I don't understand. Whenever I beat um, Shadow Complex, I just did not. Sean from this too. <laughs> um, whenever I beat Shadow Planet, not Shadow Planet, Shadow Complex, I s- instantly stopped caring for that game. I don't know. <laughs> it just totally lost its touch. I thought you were still <laughs> bent over there. That sounds bad when I say bent over. Um, yeah, anyway. Dead, Dead Light looks really cool. I forget what the art style looks like, but it was like really comic-y and stuff, wasn't it? It was kind of a cross between... Uh, like the Yeah, it's comic book panels, just like that. Uh, kind of actually oddly infamous style. Actually, since and they can't see it, we'll just explain. It kind of looks like the uh, Metal Gear Solid ones that you'd find on like Metal Gear Solid Portable or anything. Like the weird kind of contrasty i guess comic like concept art looking yeah comics. concept art looking um things. there's also um i think the game is actually kind of like a combination of limbo and shadow complex looking so it's kind of silhouetted yeah but not totally yeah and it has to do with like i think zombies and stuff either way it has a really really cool look to it and i'm excited it's gonna be 15 dollars. i think I, I saw so I think the only game out of the Summer of Arcade that's 800 is the fourth one, I want to say. Is, Whatever the fourth one is. Is Reketeer not 800? Maybe that's the one. I don't remember. I don't remember what the, the fourth release is. Um, I don't know what it is. Is it not on that site? Mm, oh, Elysian Tale? Dust? No, I'm pretty sure it's more than 800, is it? Yeah, that one's 1,200. Yeah, so. So what's, what's the fifth game? So, uh, I don't know. It doesn't show it anymore. It's Tony Hawk was 15. Reketeer might be 800. Deadlight yeah. is for sure 1,200. Hybrid is a, it's t- uh, 10. I think hy- hybrid is 10. 
Is it? I think so. It's multiplayer only. That's not bad. Anyway, I want to get hybrid. That's two weeks from now. Um, other than that, we've got some new stuff that happened. Uh, kind of. Some stuff was mentioned. News. Some newsy stuff. News. Um, Dead Space 3. I think we talked about it last time how they're like, yo, it was too scary, and we're going to go ahead and make it less scary with co-op. Or keep the scary in the single player. I think we talked about that last week, though. Um, and what they've also mentioned this week is um, it won't feature the competitive multiplayer, which was in 2, which was actually kind of fun. But it was also kind of not fun. But it was it was... Once again, just like Blacklight, it was really cool when you had like your buddies playing together. You mean Sean Light? Fucking goddamn it. I don't know if you're talking about Blacklight or if you're talking about Deadlight. <laughs> you're talking about Sean Space 2 here. Okay. Gotta... <laughs> Sean Space 3? Shawnee? Oh, yeah, it is Sean Space 3. My mistake. Dead Sean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know if you're talking about Dead Space or Deadlight. Oh, fucking goddamn it. Ah! Fucking goddamn it. Um. Anyway, so that apparently happened. Uh, won't have any. <laughs> um, so that happened. Um, we have to pick one of these for a title. It's I don't like the it. hardest decision I ever. It should just be Sean. <laughs> Sean. It's a lot of A's and U's. Have or is it Sean? W? Yes, it's W. The way you spell Sean White. Damn it. Okay. S H A W N. People have news. Everyone using. fix your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Sean Splitter suit. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Um, <laughs> Sean Splitter's future perfect. It's like we don't have Devin, so we need to have the chat as our third person. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. That's great. Um, on we're other news, up with comedy gold. On here. other news, I know that we're all excited to hear that the full track list for NBA Baller Beats was revealed. It'll have songs you mean such NBA as NBA Shauner Beats. I don't like. Did you say Shauner Beats? Shauner Beats. Not Why do you not hear what I I was sitting to? It will from feature you. songs such as Roll Up by Wiz Khalifa, Satellite by Rise Against, So Good by Bob, Chillin' featuring, I mean, Whale Does and it Lady Gaga. Power by. Party Rock Anthem by LMFAO. No, 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 Power when you jump out of a helicopter. That's all I care uh, about. There are no helicopter no, jump no, scenes in this whatever. game yet. Maybe DLC. It Sean, will have Tightrope Sean by Rogue Janelle Monet. Another One Bites the Dust by Queen. Why are you reading this? Serve Hell by Little Brain or Bear. Rock Band Barry. Blitz has a release date. Why are you Perfect. Doing this? So that's happening. Baller Beats. Rock Band, Bl- Rock Band Blitz has a release date. If you want to bounce some you stuff. You know what that good. is? I think it's end yes, of August. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Did, did, we did we you talked about that. Open? No, we talked about that last time. No, it didn't have a release date yeah. last time. Yeah, we, we only knew the release date last time. Were we wrong? No. It's, it was announced uh, Giant Bomb or something leaked it. Or not leaked it, but spoke to them and had it. When is it? I think it was like August 28th or something. I have it here. October 9th, 16th. 19th wow, in the rest totally of the world. Wrong. 16th, whatever. We were. No, wait, that's Dan Central. What the? F- I don't have it open. It's not August. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, so speaking of release dates, we'll get to that one at some point, unless you want to switch it. Um, but anyway, so Mr. Pandaria fun. finally gets a release date, uh, September 25th. I know I will not be returning to WoW. Really? Yeah. You don't want to put something on and get banned again? Uh, no, of course not. Um, I would pick it up, maybe. Um, though, the thing is that it's if I sink my money into it, I know I'm going to play for that one month and then be gone. So depending on how I feel in September... I don't um, think a lot of the big stuff starts till October this year anyways. So yeah. it might be okay. Is it, was it late September, though? Yeah, September 25th. It's, yeah, right? it's September 25th. Um, I don't know if... Uh, that's the best idea. Yeah, I I, I kind of want to see because there's some stuff there's some stuff that I had planned uh, to to buy in September. I don't remember what they were though, but I think there's at least four things, maybe less. No, no, because they were all no, they're all DLC. I don't fucking know. Maybe I'll pick it up. I don't really want to because actually it's September 25th, so that means it'll go into October, and I'll have stuff pl- already gonna have stuff planned for October. So it's September October, right? Yeah, you gotta finish <laughs> up Assassin's Creed before then too. That is right. That is, I have to finish Brotherhood and. Renovation, renovation, rele- <laughs> releva- reve- revelations. Sorry, Assassin's Creed renovations. It's actually the reboot for the series. We're gonna fix up Italy. Yeah, so that's happening. I believe that is a very meta comment on the direction the latest Assassin's Creed games have gone. Really? Oh well. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> I am super meta. No. <laughs> Anyway, for all the great Sean jokes, I <laughs> think we have to name the podcast Assassin's Creed Renovations. <laughs> Good. Um, 
I forgot to mention, by the way, with Dead Space 3, they apparently mentioned that there's going to be optional dungeons in the game, which will be optional areas that you can go through, co-op or single player. Uh, and there'll be extra goodies, which I'm guessing will be MO or no, and or upgrades or power cores or See, it's weird. Nodes. It leads me to believe that there's going to be some sort of open world aspect to this. Um, either that or it's going to be like, yo, you could go to the right, which used to be in Dead Space, like an extra corridor that we're now going to flush out into an area. So the extra corridors where the lights would turn off when you got around to the corridor and you would stand there in darkness and nothing would happen will now be a dungeon. Yeah, a d- quote-unquote dungeon, which I think is going to be an extra <laughs> l- wing, limb, limb, wing to, th- to the area. area? Oh, damn, Chad is genius. The oh, yeah. Sean of us. Sean's must die. <laughs> Assassin's Sean Creed, Sean of Asians. Game of Sean's. Beyond two Sean's. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um, Walking Dead is now coming out for the is iPhone. Is that where they motion captured Sean White? Oh and you can follow him around as a spirit. I don't even know what words you're saying. <laughs> anyway, so Walking Dead is coming out for the iOS, uh, which will be the same things. I don't know how it's going to work. Um, it says it's coming out for $5. Um, but you will also be able to pre-purchase all Walking Dead episodes for $15. Um, Wait. All five? Yeah, all 15 five. Bucks? For 50 bucks. Which saves you more than each one, apparently. Oh, no, wait, but you probably have to buy the $5 app first to get that. So it's probably actually $20. Is it not? Um, Like all the versions, your decisions, game, okay, whatever. It says you will also be able to pre purchase all future Walking Dead episodes for $15, saving you 25%. So, five. So yeah, technically, because 25% for all. Uh, $25 yeah. usually, so it'll be 20 bucks, I think. Possibly. So, point is, I wonder how it's going to play on old school iPhones. But um, uh, oh, they said they only are supporting the new iPad, iPad 2, and iPhone 4S. 4 and 4S above. So I have an iPad 2. So, so unplayable woo. on my 3GS. Son of a bitch. Uh, really excited for that. Speaking Do of you really want to play it on a platform no. that is less powerful than the Xbox 360 no. with the way that thing lags? No. Quick, do this swiping touch motion while the game is murdering its own frame rate. Good. Get a call in the middle of the game? Fuck it. Save files gone. <laughs> um, no, the so uh, sp- speaking of zombies, uh, Arma 2 got a patch, which uh, Arma 2, which is also known as just Daisy. Super Sean, that <laughs> Sean Wars, the Sean Unleashed. Anyway, so Arma 2 got a patch. Uh, nothing really special except for it fixed a lot of uh, optimization stuff. No one's uh, using white in these Sean White <laughs> games. <laughs> That's racist. Um, yeah, so Arma 2 got a patch, fixed a lot of multiplayer stuff, uh, some glitches, some uh, net code, and some other stuff. An Arma 2 patch or a DayZ patch? It's an Arma 2 patch, but it uh, also fixes a lot of DayZ stuff, considering that I think a lot of the developers for DayZ are essentially the Arma 2 developers. At least a few of them. A nice chunk. Wait, wait, wait. You mean now? Or did it start that way? I think it started as a few people, and then Arma 2 realizing that because... Well, not Arma 2. I thought not- it was a totally independent guy. I it, it was, but with the Arma developers. it was, but Arma Two developers are helping them because they've realized yeah, helping that it's, him now. But when, when yeah, yeah, oh when no, no, started, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, yeah all right, all right. Uh, considering that, I think it sold them like 500k copies in the past like few months. They're like, wow. we, should, we should probably like help you guys out. Um, so a patch released kind of specifically to help Daisy. Uh, it, did, it did not specifically. It fixed a lot of actual Arma Two stuff as well, but because it was fixing a lot of the net code and a lot of optimizations, it just kind of helps hmm. playing Daisy. Well, that's good. I gotta figure out how to install that because I did buy Arma Two on the yeah. last day of the Steam sale there. Which we should mention that Arma Two, uh, sorry, Daisy will be coming out as its own standalone thing. Hopefully, uh, supposedly, supposedly. Well, not supposedly, but for sure by the end of this year, but roughly in October ish or September ish. Yeah, they said that, but who knows if it'll yeah, actually happen? We'll see. Either way, Daisy is kind of really crazy, so we'll see what happens there. Dishonored. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I shouldn't have had the chat open for this one. Anybody listening to this is going to be like... This is our own damn fault. <laughs> yeah. This is what happens when you only do a two-person podcast. Um, so, Silent Hill Downpour People, apparently, uh, which was... V- v- Thatcher Games, uh, apparently getting <laughs> shut down. Uh, which are apparently going to get shut down uh, because they're un- under some sort of like strategic review by Konami. Does that make sense? Cause, no, well, Konami... Yes. Do they own, are they owned by Konami, or is yes. Konami just the publishers of that one game? They... Konami owns people that make Silent Hill. I'm pretty I guess, sure. I guess so, I yeah. think they would outsource it. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so th- so yeah, that's happening. Um, they might go down, which kind of sucks because I think apparently it says that they were planning some sort of uh, actiony God of War game, which I really hope was was that not the the 
stuff they showed at E3 whenever they were... It was like that God of War-y style... What? Was that Vatra Games? God of War? No, 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 no. At E3 at the 360 conference, that Xbox Live Arcade game. Was that Vatra Games? Or was essentially God of War, but you were fighting like these huge fucking... You're talking that like, kind of like... Blood... That was Bloodforge, wasn't Blood... it? No, no, no. That's already up. No, no, no. That's not Blood... It, it looked like Bloodforge, but it wasn't. God of War-y game at the Xbox conference. It was some sort of like... Open up the friggin' Unity post. I can't... Get to, Why not? Get to it. Okay, let's see if I can do it with clicks so I don't use my keyboard. Um, but uh, anyway, so apparently they're getting shut down. Possibly there's a chance that they might. Um, but um, yeah, fuck it. I won't check. I'm forget about it. There, there, there was something that they showed. Um, but yeah, so that sucks. And now I'm interested. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna bring it up. Friggin um, cool. other than that, like I mentioned earlier, Dan Central Three got a release date, uh, October sixteenth for the uh, North American people, and October nineteenth for the rest of the world. How many tracks do they have Dan Central games usually? Uh, usually they have like, I want to say like forty or fifty, or something That's like thirty bad. or fifty. I don't it was know. It's like sixty in the original Rock Band, wasn't it? Yeah. So, oh, sorry. The game is comes packed with more than forty songs on the disc, so at least forty. Um, so songs that were announced: "Sexy and I Know It" by LMFAO. Lil John and Eastside Boys, boys, boings, <laughs> saying "Get Low." You mean Little Sean and Eastside Boys? Village people from YMCA. That sounds awesome. Uh, what, what's cool about uh, Dance Central Three is that apparently it's going to be like time traveling craziness with an actual oh, yeah, story I heard about mode that where they go to like the different eras. Yeah, to play and they the steal their moves the or something. Yeah. yeah, that looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm really excited to uh, do that. We forgot to mention, by the way, with the Max Payne 3 stuff, that we totally went and read Max Payne 1 and 2 quotes and realized how fucking crazy the quotes oh, yeah. were from those games. <laughs> I really want to play Max Payne 1 and 2 now, again. You, you keep maintaining that Max Payne 3 is nowhere near the quality of Max Payne 1 or 2. Story-wise, but... yes. Man. Maintaining. Because uh... Remedy just does it fucking crazily. They have such... But anyway, um, so Diablo 3 apparently had an exploit uh, that was that happened where any mage or wizard can become invincible. I do not know if that has been fixed yet. I should probably check. Um, but apparently that had been happening since launch, where if you teleported on yourself with a certain rune and then did something... There is no game at the Xbox press conference that meets your description. There Unless was. Unless it was matter. No. That's the only thing that... Did I dream this shit is. up? You must have. I have cool dreams. That reminds me of that dream that I had of a Silent Hill game. A co-op Silent Hill game. And that was a really fucking cool dream. We were protecting a dog in a bag. And a bag, not in a bag. And then we'd have to, like, trade inventory all Daisy style. It was cool. Anyway, point is, that was a fucked up dream. I liked it. So you had a dream about Daisy with a storyline. Yeah, um, Silent Daisy. Sean Daisy. Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Okay, anyway, so the Diablo 3 exploit <laughs> was apparently going, uh, teleporting on yourself and using, like, Archon or something, and then you could not take any damage. You could just roll through fucking Inferno, getting all the best loot. Um, uh, do not did know you hear they discovered another one for the Barbarian? Really? Where if you use the, the lunging thing into the very first cutscene where the guards are fighting the monsters, yeah. you just, everything, every time you hit anything, it full heals you. What the fuck? <laughs> so there you go. So you weren't totally invincible, but all you had to do was hit something and it would totally heal your health. So there you go. So Diablo 3's got some major exploits that it may or may not have been fixed by and the time you And apparently this stuff has been broken for like the start. Months. Well, I figure that if you've heard about this and like you, you sorry, if you found this out, uh, you're probably not going to be the person who says anything because you want to really be able to get money off the auction house by exploiting this shit. <laughs> what I'd like to know is that Kotaku actually posted how to do the wizard one. Um, yeah, just so like blatantly. You blatantly just put it out there. It's like, yo, these well, are the, the steps. Well, the Barbarian one as well. But really? But the Barbarian one's way simpler. Yeah. So. But what I'd like to know is that um, if Blizzard's been outright tracking the people who have started using it, and will just be like one day banning people, or straight up banning people, especially if they've thrown stuff on the real money auction. You've got like rollbacks? They would never do a rollback. Fucking World no, of No, War. just for those people. Oh, maybe. To but that, that would be a lot of work. The, yeah. You Maybe. know, the people that have been kind of using it and abusing it since, for like a month now, yeah. they'll probably ban them, but yeah. everyone else that maybe just like try maybe they'll be like, everyone that just tried it once and then like quit out of the game or something, they won't do anything because it's clearly people who read the article and went, does yeah. this really work? Yeah. But I don't know. Kind of, I, it, yeah. I, the way I see it is, the, the pro I haven't really read up on it, but I'm pretty sure they threw out like a hop fix that fixed it. 
Really? Possibly. Maybe. Well, I guess it's online only, pretty, so they can when do When you hear something like that, they're probably like, fuck that, we're on it. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. Other than that, there's really, like, nothing <laughs> to really talk about. We had some Max Payne quotes here that we were reading earlier today. Ultimate Marvel versus Sean Com 3. <laughs> That's like a Sean s- Com. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Fuck, there was, oh, there was a fucking quote that had bullet in it. You guys can hear my keyboard. I'm so sorry. No, I couldn't. You were obsessed with this, like, all lunch, trying to find this one quote from the game. I'll have to play the last level of Max Payne 2 again and hear it and be like, oh, that is it. So, anyway. Uh, other than that, I think that's pretty much it for the podcast. You'll walk with a lamp. Anyway, um, or you don't have to. Oh, no, you do. That's not even the part. That's not even the part. Spoilers. Spoilers. Kind of. But okay. only if you have already played the end of the game. Yeah. Um, is there anything else we want to mention for this week? That's pretty much it for the podcast. Uh, we don't really have that much more to talk about. We had the marathon. Articles went up. We didn't do. We haven't done any dry runs recently. We should probably get on that. Except we're, there's nothing. We're going to try and do something for that this weekend. Yeah, so. possibly maybe orcs. We also stuff. have some oh, new yeah. video ideas, ideas <laughs> that we'll be working on. So stay tuned because there'll be some freaking awesome videos. Um, well, hopefully, a lot of kind of good ones, and one that we know is going to be fantastic. That we are going to enjoy at least, which we hope will in turn be something that you guys will enjoy if you ha- if you share our style of humor, pretty much. Um, so if you've liked all these Sean White jokes, if, you've li- if you're the type of person, I who feel likes like Sean we White. need to copy paste this entire chat. I can and it, take out all- what you it, can. It, it like it deletes itself after like hundred. Okay, I'll I'll talk to the chat after the podcast. We'll figure something out. Cool. Um... But, uh, yeah. No, Sean. So, other, other than that, um, once again, to everybody. Oh, d- does the chat have any questions I forgot to mention? Or does my Twitter have any questions? Yeah, check out that Twitter. Um, one tweet has nothing to do with that. So, we have no questions so far. So, I think that's going to that's gonna do it for that. So, if those of you who want to get questions in, uh, feel free to either leave a comment on the YouTube page. On, on, on the actual, sorry, did video. You check, did you check the old video? Yeah, there's nothing on it. Okay. I can check again, though, really quick. Um, but, um, yeah, so check, uh, leave a comment on the video. Um, I'm logged into the wrong people right now. As you might tell, Damn if you it. listen to these podcasts, hardly any questions get asked. So if you ask a question, we'll read we anything. We'll answer it. <laughs> yeah, we will read anything. Sorry, I have to do this because I was not logged into the right thing. Um, boop. Uh, no, we have no, qu- we actually have no comments at all on it. That, that's kind of, that, make, that makes me sad. Half our viewership is watching us right now. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so, so leave a comment either on the YouTube video, uh, send a message to our Twitter, either at Terricio, if you want me to read it live on the cast, like pre or post it, uh, but send it mostly to at Unity Gaming, which is E Unity Gaming, uh, which will be written somewhere on the screen as well. So there's going to be a Twitter thing. If you guys are watching this on YouTube on the top left, top left, top right, top left. Um, if you're on somewhere. iTunes, uh, feel free to rate us, uh, leave us a comment, uh, or subscribe and uh, not, su- yeah, subscribe. Leave ratings or, like, reviews. Sorry, they're not comments. Uh, let us know how we're doing. Also, it'll help us kind of maybe appear on some iTunes pages being like, up and coming, we're doing great. So do that. Um, that would actually really help us out. <laughs> um, really help me out. Really help us out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube. Uh, we've been posting some dry runs there, some podcasts, some random short videos, my game time clips, which some of them are really good. We did not talk about Rogue Warrior at all. They can't hear you we, if you turn we, your head like that. We did not talk about Rogue Warrior at all. In fact, there's a clip on our YouTube. Uh, Dear God, that game. Where I don't even like... How could they design that game? D- there's a point like, yeah, that I played this is good. where you just kind of walk into a, a hallway and you haven't shot anybody yet. And no one is dead. And he just goes, suck my balls, my big fucking hairy balls, roll them around in your mouth or something. And I'm just like... What the fuck is even like? What the fuck is even happening? I think the best representative line of that game, without mm-hmm. being super vulgar in the way that the other ones are, or like offensive. Well, I, I think I just broke that vulgar. Meter. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying that the one that you can tell people is he punches a dude out a window. Yeah. And then after the dude has fallen and hit the ground outside the window, he speaks at the guy. Doesn't yell down at him or anything. He says, "Rock and roll, motherfuckers, rock and roll." Yeah. That's it. To just totally almost deadpan. <laughs> Doesn't even like he's not even trying. He's yelling, uh, talking into the mic. Just rock and roll, motherfuckers, rock and roll. Um, that exactly is, like that. Actually. That game was out in two thousand nine. You said, yeah, and it is late two thousand nine. An hour and a half that I it took me to go through it. 
And that's with, like, dying a lot. Yeah. Um, that game was phenomenally fun. <laughs> <laughs> and the greatest thing for anybody to spectate and watch. The kill moves ain't bad. No. Except when your body totally glitches and you're not actually connecting. Well, with my the favorite was stuff. sneaking up in front of someone's face and you do a kill move and they're kind of facing away and your guy takes the time to grab their shoulders and align them to be properly stabbed in the chest. Meanwhile, they're not yelling, they're not afraid, they're just accepting the fact that they're about to be like brutally murdered. There's a really great one where he turns the guy around and like brings his knife back and like doesn't stab at the guy right away. So yeah. the guy has time to go like oh no and put up his arms and then you just stab him in the eye and you slowly turn it yeah or there's like my favorite where it's behind their head where you just kind of like slowly and ease just it like in. push them down yeah. to the ground and then <laughs> just, take your knife out and then just stand there looking at them for like four or, seconds or, or my favorite is whenever you sneak up uh to a guy and he just does a quick stab in the throat like just like a and then just through his neck and then it cuts to a, uh, a camera angle where it's him falling towards the camera and you see your dude standing there holding the knife staring at the camera not moving just like he doesn't even say anything but you know he's like i did this the crazy thing about that game Mm -hmm. is that it was released as a full 60 dollar title can you imagine if someone had bought that game there's multiplayer which i wasn't able to enjoy hey everyone that i get to buy one game a month this month it's going to be rogue warrior imagine how fucking disappointing that is. Well, you could get good at speedrunning it. It could be your next <laughs> Mirror's Edge where you try to beat it in less than an also, hour. Also, that game is supposed to be 100% serious. It's supposed to be the, like the living memoir of that guy, Dick Marchenko. I don't even... That's the dude's name. Yeah, I know. Man, I love how... It... Oh, never mind. Spoilers for the start of the game. I don't even want to say it. Two people are like wiped out. Whatever. And that's How is... They're, they're like black ops soldiers and that's they're like, like the, yo that fair, guy's holding a pin 10 of the game no but there's this dude who you shoot in the face and he pulls out a pin yes you, you like you shoot him in the neck or something and he pulls out a grenade pin and he's just staring at two of your squad mates which you're are like two best friends yeah. in the world <laughs> you were like if i want to be in deep shit these, these are, are the, the motherfuckers bros. i want guarding my back yeah and and they're just like the guy pulls the pin and they look at each other and they look back at the pin and look at each other and then like and give like surprised faces and then oh, just explode oh, oh. and then they start like they turn around to start running and they just explode and you're like well I guess they're dead <laughs> let's go kill that's some that's it the entire open cutscene was explaining how these guys were the second Best. and third most badass people in the world after yourself yep best rat tail award goes to rogue warrior guy <laughs> Dick Marchenko Dick Marchenko I hope I'm saying that right. I, really I think it's so. Dick Marcinko could be an al- alternate pronunciation. Either way, great game. Um, so yeah, back to what we were saying. So yeah, to anybody watching, listening to us on iTunes, don't forget to review or uh, subscribe and all that. Really helps us out actually if you guys leave reviews. Even if you just give us like a four or five or three or one or whatever star rating, just give us a star rating. Hopefully in the higher Not tiers. Not a one, please. <laughs> Not a one. Give us some higher tiers. Unless you legitimately hate the shit yeah, out of this. Then, in which case, yeah, by all we means. go for it. If you don't like it, go for it. Um, but yeah, leave us a review or at least star ratings. It will help us out. Uh, subscribes also help. Uh, iTunes, uh, sorry, YouTube subscribes if you guys want. We put out a lot of videos. Uh, most of them are kind of been my game time clips. But we've got some ideas for stuff that we'll work on this Sunday and we'll see what we can put out. Other than that, um, there's there's the uh, website, www.eunitygaming.com. Where That's we put up our main hub, really. Everything's um, there. You can get everything Unity from that site. Yeah. Where we but you'll make the pictures for those dry runs. Yeah, we will. By the way. Yeah. Um, okay, and shout out to <laughs> Sweet Two for making some pretty good uh, articles that he's been making. Uh, his Q News stuff, which has been really good so far. Um, yeah, he's um, he's been the active contributor. Yeah, to the the, site, the so. actual article maker, and we're really really happy to have him. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so check out that. I don't know if there's any follow us on Twitter. There's also I don't, we don't really use the Twitter that much, but Sean time with Richio. Jesus, Richio Sean actually it says. Doesn't matter. It's just a, you can't put double Sean in things. <laughs> if you if you're gonna alter another part of the sentence, it has to be white. So sh- that's Sean time name. with Richie, Richie White. That sounds weird. Sean like, time with White. That's weird. Um. <laughs> anyway, so to everyone who's still here listening, uh, this has been a two man podcast. Third people have been in the chat. You guys have been I awesome think we've so far. Secured some extra backup guests just in case for next time yeah we've, we've so got if you legitimately hated the shit out of this podcast there'll be better ones <laughs> and if you legitimately love this podcast of the, the two man like completely rambling on episode of sean and the use of the word motherfucker and hairy balls at some point um just at one point just at one point you don't want to actually now it's been balls. two three now it's been three 
Terry Balls. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. Uh, yeah, so to everyone who's still here, uh, listening, possibly watching in the cast, um, have yourselves a good, whatever you're doing currently, don't, don't attack anybody, it's gonna be all okay, don't dick Marchenko it, (laughs) don't just go stabbing people, or yelling really crude things with the word motherfucker. President Reagan says fuck you. Yeah. (laughs) I don't even understand. (laughs) President Reagan sends his regards. <laughs> Shoots a guy in the I don't even understand. Anyway, so uh, yeah, take care, everyone. Thanks for listening. And um, yeah, listen to see you all read about you all next time. I don't know. They didn't hear half of that. You I didn't. I wasn't mic. facing the mic. <laughs> <laughs> how do we end this? How does it? How do two people end this? Shawnity Gaming. I was trying to make a beat. <laughs> Can we register shawnadygaming.com? I don't, I don't think we no want Shawnity Gaming. I don't even know. All right, take care, oh, everyone. Oh, someone actually typed that in the chat. I totally wasn't paying attention. <laughs> nice. Um, all right, so take care, Great everyone. Minds Thanks. Think alike. Thanks for listening. Uh, I've been maybe Richio. I don't know yet. <laughs> no, I've been Richio. Uh, and I'm Dan. Still am Dan. Still am Dan. Sean Dan. Shan. And she- <laughs> Shawnee Cho. <laughs> God damn it. Captain Shauner. Great. Alright. Music goes <laughs> here. Sean. <laughs> Music just fade us out. Fade us out. Sean! <laughs> <laughs>